Good day guys, I haven't made any videos for a while, but uh, this is in regards to check the leakage on an SEL 9501 uh, search uh, contact out suppressor. So, just want to see the leakage. This, spec this device is specified for less than 150 microampere, but I'm going to do a few tests with a couple of other devices. I've got a pretty rough uh, setup here, basically retroactifier capacity tar and I'm gonna do a breakdown on the disc uh, that's an arc suppressor too a smaller one with a close up of the labels so 250 volts and I want to see the current and see when it's gonna conduct so it's pretty rough uh, I got the 250 volt device here uh, 27k ohm resistor to limit the current and two LEDs in series here We'll see what happens. Energize device shortly. So we're on DC, 311. Finally get some light here. I'll just turn the other lights off. And we see 369 volts here. Drop it down. Capacitor got a bleed resistor on it. We know Dropping down 3275 so it will heal itself. It's reasonably bright. I'm going to measure the current shortly with 381 volts. Okay, energized device. We're going to see what the current is going to be. We've got a microampere. Nothing flowing here. There we go, 360. At 380 volts, we've got 97 microampere, so 100 microampere. That's going through the MOV. If you probably ramp it up more, it will eventually conduct in uh, clamp. But it's a 250 volt RMS, so the peak value is 325. And allow a bit of margin. So yeah, this is the setup here for this. Then I'll show us a Xena and then I'll show the leakage on the SEL 9501. Uh, ramp the voltage down. There's a bleed resistor on the capacitor. That's a 400 volts, 470 puff. There we go, clamping voltage 216 and it is down to zero. It's actually interesting to see how these MOVs clamp or they start conducting at one stage slowly. I'll ramp it back up. Nothing happening and there we go. Two seventy turns off. Ramp it up slowly. What three thirty mark? Okay, we let it go there. Was this device here on the clamp? Red and the green connector is going to the micro-meter for now. Two LEDs from the beginning. An important thing is you make experiment with these things. So the range comes in from there, through the var from the variac, which is this device here. Uh, put a 75 volt globe in series. So in case something shorts out, that lamp will take the fault current. I've got a 12.5 volt Zener, which probably conducts at about. 16 or so volts because there's a couple of LEDs in series, so I'll ramp this up and we'll see what happens. No current flow yet. Hmm, what's going on here? 44 volts that should be conducting. Oh, yeah, I see why. Yeah, hang on, will we do that? I did have bad contact, so we cut this. Okay, we've got the Zena now. Ramp this up. 
12.5 volt Zena click, it clicks in, 20 volts, it's as expected, 1.6 milliampere, pretty bright, 7 milliampere, and I'll show the device here, light off, this can't smash it through the Zena, doesn't make sense, and uh, ask the question, I'm going to disable this again, or we use the current, so put the variac down again, and we are going back to the no milliampere or nothing. Now I'm con gonna test the SEL 9501. Stand by. So I'm gonna ramp this voltage up to the 125 volt SEL device. Start conducting at around or passing current at. Around 30 volts, I'm ramping it up to 125 volt DC, and it tells the current. Well, it's within the manufacturer's specs. It says uh, less than 150 microampere between at 125 volts, or between 125 and 160. So 125 DC gives 120 microampere, which is good. The little LEDs are even glowing. It tells you the white one is actually brighter than the red one. I'm going to ramp it up to 160 to see what the reading is there. So 160 volts, 163 microampere. So the device, the SEL, search the better, is still within its specs. So the brightness of the LED, so I'll just turn the light off. And the other light back on. Okay, it's pretty rough, but uh, that's the idea of it. Testing these units. And then something at the same time. Pretty messy, but it worked. Rodalco 2007. Thanks for watching.